Hey, this is Greg Hawks again, and we are going to do a live stream right now because I want to show you guys a couple things. So um, I just posted this on my Facebook group. So uh, if you're seeing this, you can comment on uh, some of the things that I do. If you want to find, uh, if you are looking for specifically uh, a dynamite recipe or a way to scrape something, let me know because I mean. Uh, there's, there's a lot of interest around this sort of thing. So, and, and unfor I mean, fortunately for everybody, I, I talk a lot about scrapers because they save me a ton of time. But, um, so there's there's lots of videos on that, uh, on, on the Source and In Real Life YouTube page. So, um, so a couple things that I wanna go over today because I noticed when I was on GitHub, that there were some there's some data mine recipes but they didn't pull a lot of the information that I wanted let me just do a search here so when you when you do a search on github you have to search a little bit differently let me see if I remember how to do this um, okay I don't remember finding this space or not but let's see Okay, so I pulled just several users um, using some of the syntax. It's not Boolean, it's a little bit different, but as you can see, I'm signed into GitHub and I mean, I see a lot of people's emails. I see some Gmails, I see personal emails. Sometimes you can pull websites just in this in this list here. And I was like, well, why isn't there a recipe on Dataminer that really does that? So, I created one. And I'll show you the inside of it too. I was like, I was like, what? Why isn't there anything that pulls emails? We need something that pulls emails. And I mean, I'm not using a Chrome extension or anything. Well, I am using Data Miner, but I'm not using a, a Chrome extension to pull emails. I'm just looking on GitHub. So I think this is the one. Um, so with this recipe, I was able to pull their full name, their email, and wow, there's a lot of emails. I mean, that's more than 50%. Um, location, username, that you can use to do additional research, the main link, that, so that you can always go back to it, and <laughs> the heading. So, I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot for one little scraper. So, um, let me see. Let me show you the insides of it. So, to get the, the rows, first of all, we're choosing a list. Second of all, in the rows, dot user dash list dash item. That's going to highlight the sections that you want. And the columns, um, the columns were pretty, weren't that hard. To, to expand on. There's a few that were already in here with one of the, the other recipes. So I just edited that and added the link and the heading and some other things. So, but what, what this is telling Data Miner is, hey, I wanna pull this, this name into each person's name into one column. I wanna pull the email into one column. I wanna pull the location into one column. The username, the link, and the heading. I mean, that's really basic information on what we need. And I've also got a another extension, Auto Pagerize, that will pull the the list of the pages. So I mean, that's page six. So it makes it easier for when you're scraping, so you don't have to set up pagination and things like that. So you can do that, but I'm pretty lazy with that stuff. Um, and I mean, so you can you can take a look here, and literally copy and paste each of these. So muted link, EQ zero. You might want to pause if you're watching this. And I'm extracting text in most of these. So that's extracting text, extracting text, extracting text, extracting HTML, which is a little bit tricky. But if you do this drop down, I mean, you, you have lots of options and you just, I just fiddled with it, to be honest. And the link is a URL and the heading is text. So a little bit of different variations. 
but um, gets the information I need and I don't have to, I didn't have to dig too far to, to do this so um, because this this was a little complicated if you're if you're not into building scrapers and stuff I'm gonna make this a public recipe so everybody can use it but you have to search in this way you have to search by location and then language and you can add more languages by putting in like Java or and I can't remember if you need a space or not I have to go check my my uh, my original search Let's see if this works I want to say you don't you don't need the spaces but I mean you guys can figure that stuff out um, the next recipe let me go to my recipe page So I also have one for Twitter followers and one that's more of just a, a standard Google search. So let me do the Google search. No, let me not go to my email. Nobody wants to see that. And let's just do a simple site search. I think I was doing Zoom info earlier so let's do zoom info and uh, what should I look for uh, let's just look for a uh, let's look for a engineer in Boston preferably in software okay so I've got a list of results here auto page rise will pull this into a bigger list. I'm not going to go through all of it. And so highlight, right click, data miner gets similar and I've already built a recipe for this and I actually you can actually look on some of the public recipes and when I was looking on this I mean actually the Google X-Ray does a good job in pulling information for Zoom Info just because the way it's it's pulled in it's it's using a Google search so I would almost if I was the the owner of this I would probably name this something else um, because it works with all site searches but I mean you just, and they have email on here but it's not pulling the email for whatever reason but I mean that's a good starting point so literally what I did is I clicked on this edit and it pulls me into the recipe and I just adjusted some of it okay so but I've created a recipe, so let me do this. And and honestly, I mean, if you if you find a recipe you can expand on, especially one of mine, go ahead and and edit it, and expand on it, and let me know, because that's that's part of how this works. Is is uh, it's really kind of open source. Is if somebody pulls in a, a recipe and and is doing a good job with it I mean a lot of times if you can tinker with it you can you can run run it uh, you can add some some levels to it and pull in a lot more info so for instance I pulled in uh, the clean URL the title the description and the website just because I can work with this data a little bit better I can actually take this title information and split it out into an Excel spreadsheet with uh, uh, text to field or whatever it's called, um, but this is this is easier for me to work with, okay? And uh, so I'll make this one public as well. And then as far as and let me show you the inside of it too. Again, I clicked on edit list page rows dot rc columns. Uh, the URL clean needed to be HTML. It's H three title is the same thing except we're pulling in text and the description is that jazz I don't know what the, all that means and then the website um, the selector was site and I was just able to pull it in with the text so I mean they they call this various different things and it takes some experimentation but when you get the payoff you get the payoff
And I also pulled in date. So on one of these searches, it didn't show the, the date on here, but it, it would show when this was when this was updated. I think it was a LinkedIn a LinkedIn um, scrape that I did. Let me see. So I thought that was pretty interesting. I mean, I just wish LinkedIn would make this a, a built-in service because especially for recruiter and some of the other things that we have to pull information for it would be such a great selling point for them if they had this built in so we wouldn't have to use scrapers but I'll stop I'll, I'll shut up now um, what was I looking for uh, software engineer if I can spell engineer engineer hopefully I won't break the internet today I did it a couple times yesterday Right. It must have not have been the the LinkedIn. Maybe it was just maybe I just put in software engineer. Let me see. Well, whatever the case, I saw it and I went, oh, there, like right here. See that? So I'm able to pull that in when it, this was posted, when this was. So if it's a blog and it's posted recently, I'll be able to see that. So this one is is more of a, a job, but. So that's an example. So if I was to use the same recipe for this, so you see the, you get some additional details here. So you get um, the date, and I mean, I even was able to pull in a rating, which I wasn't even trying to do so rating 50% two votes so I mean that's that's more information um, and you can dive into this more I'm sure there's a way to to organize this a little bit better but I've been doing more quick and dirty sourcing since I've been recruiting and sourcing for three countries let me show you this Twitter followers one because I was having some fun with it So let me find somebody. Who am I going to pick on today? I wonder who, okay. Let me see some of my notifications. I am going to pick on my friend, uh, Jason Vogel. So say I wanna, and this also works for, that's this daughter dance, that's awesome. I'm, I'm glad that that's still up. So say I find either a person that I want to pull in followers or I fi find uh, a company or or uh, uh, some some entity. So you see you can pull up the list of followers, right? Well, when I was looking through some of the 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 Twitter the Twitter uh, re recipes, I didn't really see anything that pulls this in in an organized way. So I built a recipe that I will also make public in just a minute. This is what happens when I have 30 minutes to play around with data miner. So I end up building recipes and nerding out a little bit. Oh, I'm going to break the internet. Did I break it? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, so with this, I was able to pull full name, I was able to pull their Twitter handle, I was able to pull their their link, their their direct link as well, and I was able to get their short bio. So, and this is just on the preview page, okay? So if I had, if I had, um, you know, I mean, he's got a, a thousand something followers. I'm not going to want to go through e each one of these one by one. I, I want to have a, a, a spot check, so to speak. And the short bio, the header, the, the heading usually tells you enough to what you need to know about the person so you can make an educated guess. Sure, I want to replace it. Come 
up, thumbs up, I'm gonna break the internet. Still trying to break the internet. Okay, so this is the spreadsheet that comes up. And I, I mean, I didn't dive in too deep. I could have pulled up thousands of people if, if I wanted to. Um, but, I mean, if I was looking for sources, for example, this person might be a good one. You can take a look. This person might be a good one. This person might be a good one. So you can, t you can take a look at some of their, their titles and what they put on their heading. Um, and, and give yourself some leads. So, I mean, I would... And like search wizards, wizards that's more of a marketing developer, but so I mean you can you can pretty much go through this and take a look at Hunter. Yeah, if I was looking for a sorcerer, I would be looking for him. Right? Um, I just kind of you, you can you can reach out to them on Twitter if they're a recruiter, if they're on social, you can find them on, um, on LinkedIn, Indeed can use their screen names because I don't know why I pulled all those screen names in there but it's more of just you know I've got their screen name that's the most important thing um, it's not it's not an exact science but as long as you've got their screen name you can you can uh, do stuff like let me see if I can pull one of these let me see if I find somebody that I know well let me just do Jason's let me plug, let me click on Jason again. This would be a good example to see if I could make this work. Okay. Okay, so I've written about this, about using InAnchor, which basically says, point to this link. Look for things that point to this link. And you can use that to identify people, people's screen names. So, just pulls Twitter, it looks like. Sometimes you can find more information. Now look at this. I mean, he's got, he's part of this, this Houston sourcing crew. Um, that might be a, a forum to, and he was a Gulf Coast Symposium. I mean, that might be a conference that I could tap into. Looks like a conference. So there's some more leads. I mean, yeah, that's definitely something that you could you could use to pull in more information. Um, you know, the thing with Jason though, he he has a unique a unique screen name, so a lot of people will have like their first and last name. Like my my hash, my uh, Twitter handle has my first and last name in it, but I only use it for Twitter. Um, but some other people might use the same screen name somewhere else. So, I'll, I'll pick on Nisha too. Let me see if I can find Nisha using this. Of course, you can also just put in their names in one of these people searchers, but I want to show you an anchor. Just kind of how I found conference list too. In the past. So, I mean, yeah. Um, yeah, Pinterest. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> And uh, let me see if I, if I add the at, if it'll work too. And one more thing I want to show you. So, I mean, there's, yeah, there's there's things that you can do to, to find people like that. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. That's why you've got to try new things. Um, one more thing is something that my teammate, uh, Mike, Mike Roman showed me. Because he also builds recipes, and he built a data miner recipe that I, I'm hoping that uh, he'll share how to, to make that with everybody at a later time. But when you do a site search on LinkedIn, let me do this. I don't know why all those people are coming up. Engineer, Boston. I'm looking for engineers in Boston, if anybody knows anybody. 
let's let's go a, a step deeper in React. React engineers in Boston, also in Ireland and in Montreal. So if anybody knows anybody. So the reason why uh, I thought this was interesting is because um, he built a recipe around not only the stuff here, but also he pulled in the title, the industry, the number of connections, the location. So it's this is a great example of of how using a different search engine or using a different tool can get you different results. This gets you way different results and it's a much easier way to pull in uh, a lot of information, a lot of a lot of information that just a straight Google search wouldn't get you. So um, I know he's he's built the recipe. Um, what I'd like to do is in, in a future sourcing thing a week is get him on and have him show everybody how he did it. So watch for that. Uh, in the meantime, I hope this this group of tips and recipes help everybody. In fact, why don't I go and make those public so that so that um, everybody has access to them. And if they break or if they change, uh, you can always edit and, and adjust. So let me see. Let me remember if I know how to do this, if I remember how to do this. All right, so this one is public. It's the Google search results. Let's see the GitHub. And the thing about Git, the GitHubber, I called it the GitHubber. I mean, it pulled a bunch of emails and I didn't have to use all, all these different extensions to pull in the emails because I just was signed in the, the GitHub. So uh, sometimes you don't have to dig as deep as you might think. And I'm gonna do the Twitter followers. So these shall all be public. To find them, you have to go to the, I did make that public. I did make that public. Okay, so GitHubber, Hawks Twitter followers, sourcing in real life. Actually, I think I think I did another, well, that, that'll work for right now. So. If I have a, if I, I think I named it that, didn't I name that? You gotta love sourcing in real life sometimes. Let me go back and make sure. Cause I wanna make the, the right one public for you guys. And I'll also show you go, how to go in and find these as well. Let's see. My followers, I'll go to my followers. Oh, I'm gonna break the internet. Oh, maybe not. This one, this was the more updated one, so let me make that one public. I want to get you guys the most up to date. Okay, so I have. The Hawks sourcing in real life Twitter followers, the Hawks sourcing in real life GitHubber, and the Hawks sourcing in real life Google search results. Okay, I want a yes on the Google search results. I want a yes. Give me a yes, yo. Whatever the case, I'll make sure that these are public. I actually showed you how to build the, the Google search one, so I don't know why it's glitching out on me, but that's 
what technology does. Um, the other thing, to go in and find these, you have to actually be on the website. And again, right click, go to a data miner, get similar. And for the public recipes, you click on this tab public. And you select the one that makes the most sense. So uh, the Hawks sourcing in real life Twitter followers, that's the one that I created that's public and all that's my recipes. So it, it automatically comes up if you put in my name or you put in sourcing in real life. But see, you'll have several recipes you can choose from. So that's, that's the one I just created and made public. So all you gotta do is run it and it'll pull in the information for you. Okay. If you want more people on Twitter, just keep scrolling down. It's kind of like Facebook. You have to do the scroll down to get as many people. Hey, there's Mike. There's Mike Roman. He's the one who created the thing. So watch watch for more articles from him on SourceCon and watch for uh, a, a possible <laughs> a, a collaboration video uh, coming up. So, I mean, you can, you can see. Scroll down. You can pull in more people. And, I mean, you can get out hundreds of people with this and with other sites as well so so yeah hopefully that helps please share and subscribe um and i will try to get that last recipe up in public i, I probably was trying to do too much at one time so um but yeah thanks for thanks for watching thanks for reading thanks for listening to me ramble on for probably close to 30 minutes um and don't worry, I will be releasing this video uh, on the YouTube channel after I do some edits and, and add some stuff like soundtracks and, video and, and uh, uh, some background music and stuff like that. So thanks for sharing and thanks for subscribing.